ready namaste this is anak in the quest for finding what the building blocks of the universe are scientists have found atoms there are 118 kinds of atoms which make up the things which we see day to day in day to day life now these kinds of atoms 118 kinds they are known as elements now the main objective for the scientists was to classify these atoms one of the first classifications one of the first successful classifications was that of rutherford rutherford prepared a periodic table based on the atomic weights of the elements but later hj mosley showed that it would be even better and easy if we prepare a periodic table based on the atomic numbers of the elements so here is what we are looking at it is the modern periodic table here actually there would be another like a few more boxes here but we have not drawn that because these are these boxes are related to this video now this box this column is known as s block and this is known as p block so this modern periodic table it consists of four divisions s block p block d block and f block the s block uh, it contains the elements whose last electron is present in s subshell similarly p block elements their last electron is present in p subshell just like that d block and f block so this is p block and this is s block so the modern periodic table contains groups and periods the vertical columns are known as groups like this and the horizontal rows are known as periods okay there are 18 groups in a periodic table modern periodic table and also seven uh, periods okay now in this video we are going to look at how to remember easily with tricks the elements in each group in p block and i mean p block and s block okay with respect to groups yeah let us start the first group this is 1a group which is also known as alkali metal family uh, another interesting thing here is that in each group the elements they represent each other in their properties that means all of them have similar properties in each group so we also call them families this is the alkali metal family the first group 1a so to remember this group we use a sentence that is hey lily sold potatoes and rubies on the seashore of france hey lily sold potatoes and rubies on the seashore of france so let us look at what the elements are if we remember this sentence we will also remember the elements which are present in the first group so first hey for hydrogen lily for lithium sold for sodium that is na natrium its uh, latin name is natrium so na next potatoes for potassium k its latin name is kalium so k next rubies for rubidium on the seashore for cesium and france of course it is francium all right hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium so all these elements are present in order in this sentence so similarly for s block and p block if we remember these sentences or phrases then we will easily remember all the elements in them okay so this is the uh, trick for the first group all right yeah so coming to the second group in the s block that is this one it is the 2a group it is also known as these elements are also known as alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metals these were alkali metals these are alkaline earth metals okay for this we prepare a sentence or also a phrase first i'll tell you the phrase that is b mega castra bara b mega castra bara okay this is a phrase first b for beryllium mega for magnesium ka for calcium stra for strontium 
buffer barium raffer radium if you feel that this phrase is a little gibberish then you can go for another sentence that is eat berries mangoes for calcium strawberries uh bananas and radish okay it it is your wish you can go for this sentence or even that phrase okay yes so these these are the two groups present in the s block so we have completed the s block elements moving on to p block here we find d block so let's just leave it moving on to p block elements so here to remember them easily like we will remember the sentences but it will be a little difficult to arrange them like if i have a sentence in my mind is it this group or that group right so for that we all know of course we all know the first 10 elements right so the elements are numbered in this way in periodic way so if this is hydrogen then this would be helium right this is helium then this is lithium beryllium so this would be boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon right now with this starting elements we can remember the uh, like which sentence comes in which group okay so first boron for boron we have Bold. All girls, or you can consider for easy remembering, you can consider all gals. Uh, eight. Indian, Thali, on NH National Highway. Okay, bold. All gals eight Indian Thali on National Highway NH. Let us look at what the elements are. Bold, of course, it is boron. All for aluminium. Gals for gallium. Eight Indian for indium. Thali for uh, thallium. Actually, thali is a meal. Like it is a really big meal. I don't think a person can eat it, right? A single person cannot eat it, I guess. So NH, which is national highway for nihonium, right? Bold, all girls. Eight Indian thali on National Highway NH. Right, we have completed the boron family, which is the three A group. This is the P block. Right, moving on to the next carbon family. For this, we have a sentence that is car silently went to Germany. with tank loaded full car silently went to germany with tank loaded full so in this we know that car is it stands for carbon silently for silicon si next went to germany for ge germanium with tank for tin its uh, latin name is tannum so we write sn its symbol loaded for uh, lead that is pb plumbum lead next full for chlorovium right car silently went to germany with tank loaded full easy this is the carbon family that is the 4a group in p block this is 4a group carbon family now let us move on to the nitrogen family which is the 5a group nitrogen family so starting with n so i have a phrase as well as a sentence first let me tell you the phrase that is night photo as anti anti biscuit mask night photo as anti biscuit mask if you want a sentence if you feel that this is like it doesn't have a meaning the sentence is night i took photo as my auntie ate biscuit in moscow 
any one you can choose any one i choose this so first night in both of them means nitrogen however photo means phosphorus as means arsenic anti or anti means uh, antimony whose latin name is stibium so we write sb it's symbol next biscuit biscuit for bismuth mask or mosco for moscovian right night i took photo as my anti ate biscuit in mosco right this is the nitrogen family or the fifth five a group moving on to the next one oxygen family which is the six a group right oxygen family for this the sentence is oh yes selena teleported in life this sentence is very science fictionish okay oh yes selena teleported in life o for oxygen yes we consider yes as s and we write sulfur here o s selena for selenium teleported in this word we have two of them tele for tellurium ported for polonium in live live for liver modium right oh yes selena teleported in live oh yes we have completed the oxygen family moving on to the next one which is the 7a group it is these are known as the halogens i like it these are halogens which means they are salt producing family so we begin with fluorine so i have a very cool sentence it is feel cool bro i am at tennis court feel cool bro i am at tennis court so feel for fluorine cool for chlorine bro for bromine i for iodine i am at uh, yeah at for astatin tennis for tennis in right feel cool bro i am at the tennis court really cool sentence right i will write this a little bigger tennis in right so coming to the last one last group in the p block that is they are known as the noble gases that means these elements are the least active elements in the whole periodic table they like they react yeah, once in a blue moon they don't react at all mostly except for xenon that is an exception and also helium is also an, an exception here because its last electron is present in 1s that is 1s2 so it should actually belong to s block but as it is a noble gas it is situated in this group okay it doesn't react all right it doesn't uh, like participate in chemical bonding starting with helium so here we got a sentence which is very indian related that is he never argues with krishna for excess rain oh god he never argues with krishna for excess rain oh god uh, consider him lord krishna so he for helium never for neon argues for argon with krishna lord krishna for krypton for excess so excess we consider it as xe xenon excess is xenon rain for radon and o oh god for organeson right these are the noble gases okay the ones which do not actively participate in chemical bonding so yes this is the s block these two groups are known as the s block 
the elements in them are known as s block elements and these elements are known as the p block elements s block elements are one and two groups p block elements are from 13 to 18 groups right 3a to 8a this is the 8a 8a group that is 1a and 2a so these are the uh, tricks to remember the elements in s block and p block uh, groups yeah thank you